Hey, my friends, Yero here, and today I am in China looking at a cordyceps farm. I'm really excited to share this with you because this is one of the best medicines of our time, one of the best mushrooms we know of. This is cordyceps militaris. We're going to look at how it's grown out here on a farm in China, and I just can't wait to share this journey with you. So join me as we come and visit a cordyceps farm. So Yi, Yi, thank you for having me. Mr. Chen, thank you for having us in your farm. Yi and Mr. Chan, thank you very much for having me here today. Uh, we're excited to share more about your way of growing cordyceps. So I understand that you've been growing cordyceps for about eight years here in this facility, and you're using soybeans and rice to create the best substrate there is. And this has been after years of figuring out the best way to really grow a high yield of the cordycepine. Why did you choose soybean and rice? According to Mr. Chen's um, experience, he tries many different kind of um, raw materials as a substrate, but at last he chooses two okay. as raw materials. So essentially, um, to get higher cordycepine, this is the best substrate. Right. To use. May I hold this or check it out? Sure. This is the culture of the cordyceps militaris. You use a liquid culture, and liquid is just easier to work with. The point is the speed. The fermentation speed uh -huh. the is, is much faster than okay. so, uh, solid form. So essentially, it grows faster, better substrate, yeah. better quality cordycepine, higher quality mushrooms. Yeah. So the first thing that happens is this is cooked down, right? So it's first cooked and then cooled down to room temperature, correct? Right. right? At that point, the cordyceps is inoculated in using a syringe. All right, so this is them bringing a whole bunch more into the room. Essentially, these are just finished cooked ones on their way to be put out on the shelf for 15 days. It's kept quite dark in here because this is how it's best fermented. Essentially, they will turn into this type of product where the mycelium is now inoculated into the substrate and is starting to grow out a culture. This whole room is dedicated to fermenting the cordyceps. And you can see on the edges that these are kept tightly sealed. This room is kept at 17 degrees Celsius. This is the proper temperature for it to culture out. So the mycelium is fermented for 15 days at a colder temperature, and then it is put out to grow. All right, so once the culture is grown out on the substrate and turned into a mycelial net, it's then put into fruiting. So here we are in one of the fruiting rooms, and they are in this room for about 45 days. This is where they come fully into fruit, and you get full-size cordyceps. These cordyceps are about 20 days into their life cycle. So halfway through, they'll essentially fill up this whole container. And at that point, the spores are releasing, they're at their full maturity, and they're ready for harvest. So Yi was telling me that part of the reason he thinks they're called militaris is they look like little soldiers, all these little kind of alien tendrils. This is amazing. This is one of the coolest looking funguses I have ever seen. So thank you for sharing with us. Wow. I mean, just being in this cordyceps farm it's pretty cool. This is pretty surreal to be in and amongst all of this cordyceps. This is one of the most powerful mushrooms on the planet. And it's, I can feel it in here. I mean, it's kept at a low temperature and growing out in this way, but just, just being around here, it's, it's pretty neat. Part of the reason why Cordyceps militaris are grown is because the Cordyceps sinensis don't go to fruit like this. Essentially, this is the best type of Cordyceps for getting that high Cordycepine content, which is one of the main active compounds in this mushroom. There's a lot of science right now that is showing how this compound is one of the active things that increases our oxygenation, helps support our brain health, crosses the blood-brain barrier, does a lot around supporting our body as a health ingredient. So when it comes to the adrenal support, when it comes to the oxygenation of the cells, opening up the bronchioles, it's compounds like this that are what we're looking for in cordyceps. And this is why cordyceps militaris 
is the one that we want to be working with on a commercial level. It grows really effectively, grows beautifully like this, and is able to produce the kind of compounds that we're looking for in cordyceps. And my belief is that cordyceps is one of the mushrooms of the future. Now, people have been using this mushroom for a long time. Obviously, it comes originally out of the Himalayas is one of the main strains we know, but there are hundreds of different types of cordyceps in the world. And so I think that when we start to look at this mushroom and we see some of the main benefits from it, we see that this is actually a whole ecology of multiple different fungi growing together that create this compound. So a big piece of why we came to China was to learn a bit more about how cordyceps is grown. This is a mushroom that is something that is dear to my heart and yet I was not sure of how it was grown, and now that I know, I really just appreciate learning about the quality and the integrity that you have as a grower. So thank you so much for sharing your cordyceps farm with us and showing us a little bit about how this is grown. Uncommon. I think we're in Guangzhou. I don't know where we are, actually. We're in an unknown secret location yeah. in China. <laughs> so we're in an unknown secret location in China. No, the best way to really grow a high yield of the Cordycepine. Cordycepine, the best Cordyceps militaris in the world with high Cordor... <clears throat> to create the best Cordyceps militaris in the world with high Cordor... Cor ah, Cordycepine, okay. To create the best cordyceps in the world with high cordycepine. Cordycepine, why am I saying that? To create the best cordyceps in the world. <laughs> cordycepine. 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 Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs>